solution. Solution, the question is 3x squared plus 7x plus 3 and is equal to 0. So the first thing I'm going to explain here is um, coefficients and the terms. So let's start with coefficients. What are coefficients? Coefficients are numbers that are standing with what each variables. So in this case, we have x squared here. Now, x squared here is different from what x does one. Now, secondly, uh, the coefficient of x squared is 3. The coefficient of x squared here is 3. Likewise, the coefficient of x is 7. So the number standing with a variable is called the coefficient. All right. So in the case of terms, 3x squared is the first term of the equation plus 7x is the middle term of the equation and 3 is the constant term. Now, this is called the constant term because it does not carry um, a variable that is an alphabet generic equal to 0. Now, the equation has two parts, right? We have the right-hand side, which is where the 0 is, and we have the left-hand side. So, the first step in solving um, a quadratic equation using the completing the square method is you divide the entire equation by the coefficient of x squared. Now, this is it. So, that means we're going to divide the entire equation with what? 3 here. So, this is it. This divide by 3, this divide by 3, this divide by 3, and this divide by 3. Now, 3 here divided by 3 is what? 1. So, we have x squared plus 7x all over 3 plus now, 3 divided by 3 also here is 1, and we have 0 here. Okay? So, we have completely gotten our first step. Now, the second step is we take the constant term to the right side of the equation. And constant term here is 1, and it's plus 1 at this part. So, we're going to take it to the other side. So, taking this and crossing this particular equality sign, it becomes minus 1. So, we have x squared plus 7x divided by 3 to be equal to minus 1. Thank you. So we've gotten our second term. Now the third step is, the third step has um, subordinates. So this third step is, we are going to divide, um, the first thing is, we divide the middle term by 2, then we square it and add it, and add that to what the entire equation. So I said, divide the middle term by what? 2, square it, and add it to the equation. So in dividing the middle term by 2, is 7 divided by 3 also by what? 2, which is the same thing as what? 7 over 3 times 1 over 2. If this, so this is just like we're having 2 over 1 here. So 1 goes up and 2 comes down, the sign changes. So we have what? 7 divided by what? 6. All right. So that means we're going to square 7 over 6 and add it to the entire equation. So we now have x squared plus 7x divided by 3 plus what we have as 7 over 6 squared to be equal to minus 1 plus open bracket um, 7 all over 6 squared. Okay, so this is it. So the first step, the fourth step is um, we factorize the left-hand side. This is the left-hand side. Factorize the left-hand side of the equation and simplify the right-hand side of the equation. So let's do it. Now, in factorizing this particular expression, since it's like this, we are going to consider um, this x square and this constant term. So the, the first variable and the last variable. So bring the first variable and the last variable together and put the square outside um, a bracket. So we have open bracket x plus... 7 over 6 close bracket to be equal to so this is basically the factorization of this expression at the left hand side so if you open this bracket you get this exactly okay so coming to this place in simplifying this we have minus 1 plus 7 square is 49 divided by now 6 square is 36 okay so if we find the LCM here, we have 36. So 36, 36 here, this is like over 1. So 36 divided by 1 is what? 36, 36 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 36. 36 divided by 36 is 1. 1 multiplied by uh, 49 is 49. Okay. 
So this comes down of x plus 7 over 6 to the square. Okay. So minus, minus 36 plus 49 is 13. So we have uh, 13 here divided by 36. Then it's a, a bracket x plus 7 all over 6 to the square. Okay. So finally the fifth step. The fifth step is we take the take the root of both sides and find the exact value of x. So I'll write um, take root of both sides. So it, so I have our uh, root. The first one is x plus seven over six to the square to be equal to plus or minus the big root of 13 over 36. So this square cancels this root and I'm left with x plus 7 all over 6 to be equal to. The root of 13 is 3.6. So we have a 3.6 here divided by. The root of 36 is 6. So finally to get our x, we take 7 over 6 to the other side that is cross equality sign to the left, the right hand side of the equation. So we have this is minus 7 all over 6 plus or minus 3.6 divided by um, 6 here. Okay? The ideas from fraction we have this is 6 and here is 7 and here is plus or minus 3.6. So this is our x. So basically we are going to have we are going to have two x, right? We are going to have the first part of the x and the second part of the x. So the first part of the x, we are going to use the uh, plus here because we have a plus or minus in the middle. So we are going to use plus to find the, the value of x there. And the second part of the x, we are going to what? Consider the minus part, okay? So this is it. x is equal to minus 7 plus 3.6 divided by 6. And this is 1 and this is x2 is equal to minus 7 minus 3.6 divided by 6. So in this case, I have plus here and I have, so that's why it's what, um, one after the other and then the plus and the minus. So this is um, minus 0 0.566 and this is minus 1.766. So this is the answer. So thank you very much for watching and in my next video I am going to um, use these particular steps to derive the quadratic formula.